Hello from we actually for today's video. No guys, 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 look at this from Will Alert. A billion USDT minted at Tether Treasury. Oh, there we go. Again, Tether comes back to the rescue. Probably we should pump once again. So how long can they continue this for? Right? How long? My opinion is when regulations crack down on these coins, it's all going to crumble and plummet and fall. Imagine when Tether Imagine when Tether stops, what happens? Bitcoin is literally going to plummet so hard and quick, guys. Like Dan Penn has stated, whoop, we go down, right? At that point, I'm pretty sure that's going to mark the top of the cycle. And then all these other coins go into a bear cycle or whatever it's called. While XRP gets clarity from the SEC, guys, do we see how this might play out? And XRP flies, flies, flies. It does make sense to say the least because we have proof in the pudding from Bitfinex right here, guys. Listen very carefully. Bitcoin farewell. Look at this. Bitfinex Tether is the largest Ponzi scam in history. Bitfinex was founded by a Ponzi scammer. They will never show up because they can't answer the most basic questions about their so-called reserves. The Tether fraud is one of the largest cover-ups in history, guys. Listen to what he states very carefully. Don't cop out and say, well, you're not going to do anything until we pass meaningful legislation. And if you wonder about where the power is, Zuckerberg had to come here himself and sit there. Brian Armstrong sent his number two. And Tether doesn't bother to show up at all. Zuckerberg did not have a day in the park. He did not enjoy it, but he had to come. Armstrong didn't, and Tether ain't here at all. Now, the number one threat to crypto currency is crypto. Don't cop. Wow, 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 wow. Tether didn't show up. And the most important thing he said is the, num the number one threat to crypto is crypto itself. Why? Because of Tether. Guys, Tether is literally printing so much, right, that Bitcoin is propped up to be number one. So much fake volume. It's absolutely mind-boggling how this is about to play out. And to whoever is in Bitcoin and all these coins that Tether is propping up, Tether doesn't... Tether does not pump XRP because XRP is from the USA. What about Bitcoin? What about Ethereum? Hmm, think about it, guys. Very interesting to say the least, isn't it? Now, it gets even crazier, guys. Things are getting very interesting from uh, ProCoin News. The tide's starting to turn for XRP. Again, guys, it's actually happening right before our faces. It's absolutely mind-boggling, right? Gensler slammed in crypto congress meeting while XRP gets praised. <gasps> Again, the tide is turning, guys. Wow, what a beautiful analogy. Again, it's literally happening right before our faces. Top crypto leaders answered questions from the House Financial Services Committee regarding regulations and the SEC constant oversight. And look at this, guys. Regulation is literally up on the horizon where the Grim Reaper takes out that 9 point something percent of these coins right to the gallows as one might state now look at this pierce went on record uh, saying that the rules regarding cryptocurrency are not clear in response coinbase chief financial officer has stated that the rules are clear but the sec is not using them in the right manner and are calling some cryptocurrency securities while in reality in while in reality they are digital assets <gasps> there we go talking about xrp xrp is a digital asset guys the tide is turning. It's actually happening. These are the events we were waiting for. Guys, it gets even crazier. Here we go. Just in. Guys, hoping you are listening. Gary Gensler. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, Ms. Haas, let's continue. SEC Chairman Gensler has indicated on multiple occasions that, and I quote, the test to determine whether a crypto asset is a security is clear. However... Commissioners Peirce and Roisman noted that they believe there to be an obvious lack of clarity for market participants around the application of securities laws to digital assets and their trading. The lack of clarity is clear through the numerous requests that the SEC receives for these no action letters. Uh, in your view, is additional guidance defining clear rules of the road for investors and market participants needed at this time? Thank you for the question. We believe this is a very important area of focus for the SEC and this committee. 
We do agree that the laws are clear. However, existing laws, regulation, and legal precedent make it clear that blockchain tokens are not securities. So we believe that the law clearly shows that blockchain-based digital assets are one of two things, either a new form of digital property or a new way to record ownership, as Brian Brooks spoke earlier about. We do believe that clarity is needed because these are new assets. It's a new way of transacting with these new protocols that we spoke about, and I think it would be benefit all of us in the ecosystem to have agreed upon definitions. Um, I, I couldn't agree more, and I, I, I would hope the Chairman Gensler um, would be uh, listening to his commissioners uh, and, and some of the feedback that you all are giving him. Wow, look at him talk about Gary Gensler's not listening, huh? Again, the tide is literally turning, guys. This is absolutely mind-boggling. And then the star of the Congress hearing was former controller of the currency, Brian Brooks, advocated on behalf of XRP. Again, guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's happening right before our faces, even though some people don't want these things to happen. But it's happening, guys. Right? Look at this, guys. We need clear standards and the government support to create a new, more secure, more competitive financial system. Whoa. Again, financial system. This is how the new one reborns, right? Borns from the ashes of the old financial system. Now, how will they take down this old financial system or the current financial system we have today? Probably a cyber attack, right? Because they're already s throwing simulations of a worldwide cyber attack, which then they'll blame that for the current financial system going down. But how will they, but then they, we, they need people to panic, right? Panic what's happening. Then they could bring on the solution. Hey, we have a solution. There's something called blockchain technology, right? And then there will probably state XRP, probably not, but they will use XRP, right? Uh, for the new, or for being the heart of the new financial system. So these things are taking place again. The benefits of getting this right are enormous, but so are the consequences of getting it wrong. Again, guys, the regulations is inbound. No doubt, no doubt about that. U.S. regulators pay attention. Cryptocurrency is assets that people believe in. Mr. Brooks states this beautifully. Again, so guys, we see a lot of people, you know, going against Gary Gensler. So guys, this is absolutely this this show is absolutely a ten out of ten. Do you know why? Because Gary Gensler is being that in quotations, antagonist, right? Who's the protagonist in this whole show? So, it's absolutely funny on how this is all playing out, to say the least. Next, it comes from Bank XRP. R runs on RippleNet. SCB wins Best Remittance Initiative Highly Commended Award, reflecting its aspirations to create unlimited financial solutions. Look at this, guys. Wow! Again, these things are happening, guys. This is absolutely mind-boggling. People don't understand or doesn't seem to see it. But Retail Banker in International Asia Trailblazer Awards 2021. Look at this. Runs on they run on Ripple Net and they win this award. Again, remember now imagine the whole world running on Ripple Net or, or or transacting right CBDCs, but they need the bridge, which is XRP. What will be the price of XRP if all that happens? And remember, Brad Garlinghouse or Ripple themselves stated that XRP, our goal is to make XRP, our simple goal is to make XRP the world reserve currency. What will be the price of XRP if all those things happen, guys? Literally five digits, $10,000 plus in my humble opinion. It could be a lot more. Uh, David Schwartz himself stated that, gave, or gave the example, just an example, guys, of XRP being at a million dollars. So do we see... The big picture here. Wow, this is absolutely insane. Next, it comes from Jack Durfler. Boom, digital euro. Sw Swiss franc trials were successful. Central bank says wholesale CBDC can play a critical role as a safe and neutral settlement asset for international financial transactions. Head of BIS. Oh my, this is this is insane. I can't believe it because 2022 is going to be an insane year. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this, guys. Most relevant for wholesale CBDC is XRP. Examples, no other coin in the whole cryptosphere except XRP, guys. What what do they state right here? Wholesale CBDC, critical role, right? Settlement, asset, international financial transactions. XRP will be used, guys. This is insane. Again, XRP's price will be at 
I get from Jack Durpler, XRP is a stable coin, but the but in the ten thousand plus dollar ranges. There we go, guys. Ten k plus XRP. Here we come. So again, we know the big picture. We see what's happening. We see the timeline and and the roadmap, right? But it's absolutely crazy how we probably are right all along this whole time with the help of Riddlers guiding us right at the end of the day. But this is looking very beautiful for XRP reaching these higher prices, guys. Again, only time will tell, right? But this is looking very beautiful from our eyes. But anyways, guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, 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 sub